Those making over $100,000 per year, how hard was it to get over that threshold? 40,000 out of college with a political science degree. Grinded 4.5 years in operations to get to 58,000. They really treat you subhuman at this level. I was really depressed. There was so much needless drama and office politics. Then I got hired by an IT firm at 80,000 as a junior engineer, started getting into IT cybersecurity. Busted my ass learning three years. Worked on multiple projects like a monkey. Got hired by a big gov contractor at 88,000. Seemed like a contractor farm with too many cooks in the kitchen. Worked five years up to 120k. Now, 170k with one those big for consulting firms. Marketing, media, advertising. Lived to work for a good couple of years. Switched jobs and eventually ended up working for a big corporate, which I always thought I would hate. I don't because the colleagues are great and there's far more focus on work-life balance than in the startup scale-up business. I now earn a little below 100k again because I switched to a four-day work week after welcoming our son. In reality, I work more than the hours I officially get paid for, but it still feels in balance for the money I make, and I'm happy with where I am. 1. Pick trade. 2. Start apprenticeship. 3. Turn out and make over 100,000. I chose plumbing. I'll be honest. It wasn't easy. Five years of apprenticeship night school while also being an apprentice doing all the bitch work. And then some while getting married, buying a house, and starting a family. It was a rough five years but coming out of it on the other end, life is pretty good. Even though 100k isn't what it used to be, I feel lucky to be living relatively comfortably. Once our student loans are paid off life will be much better. I live in AVHCOL area and worked in software now retired early. 20 years ago, when I got started, it took me three years to get to six figures. Five years ago, I hired a promising but inexperienced software engineer for $300,000 total compensation because that's what the market demanded. We bumped her to 350 after six, nine months. Tech hiring got even more crazy during the pandemic and has cooled a bit. Still, compensation at the big firms remains outlandish compared to what equally smart people make in other roles and industries. Second real job out of college. After a few years of screwing around in the bar scene as a bartender and manager. Once I went into IT, spent three years at 70,000. Next job was 100,000. For years there took me to 145 ISH. After that I switched to technical sales and have been doing 200 for two years. I used my time to build a broad-based skill set in IT, then specialized in a pretty niche skill and got really good. Some side consulting work and a board position padded my resume nicely. Broke 100k in the early 30s, and 200,000 at 40. I hit $100,000 in 2005, working in NYC. It definitely took a little strategy. I changed jobs a fair amount, since a new job a higher salary. I also failed upwards a few times taking a position that I was not really qualified for but making the best of it and learning as I went. On one occasion, I was fired but moved on to a better, higher paying position. In the end, I realized that I never really earned a six-figure salary. I built one through strategic job hopping, negotiation and a modicum of hard work. I spent a boatload of money on an accelerated nursing program. Work my ass off for 18 months taking 16 credit hours a semester with two kids and I worked almost full time. It was 1,000 worth it. I make $130,000 a year working 40 hours with a little bit of overtime. I make way more than that dot dot of living and three kids, two of which are in daycare. I am by no means living large, but I have a nice house in the suburbs and my kids don't want for anything and I don't worrying about paying my bills. I moved to an isolated community in the Arctic to work as a retail manager.
between my salary and the northern living allowance that gets added to help pay for rent and food I make 101k per year. Wasn't hard really. Just put up with a lot of racism. No trees. Bite your tongue when you see so many women with black eyes and young pregnant teenagers. Except that if you schedule six cashiers you're lucky if one or two show up. That kind of thing. I was at like 95k when I was 28. I hit 150,000 right before age 30 about two years ago. The whole process from my first adult job after college at $14 an hour required quite the grind to get to where I'm at now. Making 100 mile moves multiple times, not a great social life, a fucked perfectionist mindset that fueled my depression. Numbing the depression with alcohol. Had a mental breakdown like a year ago. Currently 15 months sober and been in therapy. I guess I'm successful on paper though, so, cool. Not that hard if it's the market rate for your job and you change companies. I think the issue comes from raises not matching market value. So to keep up with the market, you need to switch jobs. Companies are willing to overpay for talent whereas they aren't willing to pay fairly for promotions raises. That's also how you get employees with five years experience making less than new hires. To put it in perspective, my wife got a $20,000 market adjustment after working at her company for three years. Just got hired for my first real job out of grad school, and I'm making decently into six figures. I did a bachelor's, a master's, two years research assistantship started my PhD and in my fourth year decided academia was not for me and mastered out. I didn't have to work my way up a corporate ladder or anything, but the mental health toll the PhD was taking on me while making significantly less than I could have in industry didn't make things easy. Here's my salary journey. I'm an industrial designer. 5k. 2016 $67,000. 2017 $70,000. 2018 $73,000. Change jobs promotion 2018 $85,000. 2019 $89,000. 2020 $90,000. 2021 $92,000. 2020 to $101,000. 2023 $110,000 promotion. Changed jobs. 2023 $160,000 promotion. I'm probably one of the highest paid people at the level I'm at in my field in the city I live in barring those working in tech companies. Took a long time and combining me and my wife's income. I work in sales and she is in IT. My base salary and her salary combine is just over six figures and my commission puts us in the mid 100,000s. How comfortable the budget is still tighter than might be expected, mostly due to extremely high health insurance premiums and daycare costs both of which cost as much as our mortgage month to month. 100k was easy. I'm a good software engineer, but I also got lucky. 38k six months point for 5k five to k three years same company. 8 ok switch companies and city. 1 ok got lucky. Team led quit right when I joined, 6 months. So I went from 38,000 100,000 in 5 years. This was back in 2000s. 2 ok is where I keep slamming my head against face salary wise. And have been for like 5 years. It's always the stock and what not that puts you over 200k. The worst part is realizing that once you make enough money to cover your bills, anything above that is completely meaningless. I still have to work 40 hours a week. I still get the same amount of vacation. But I can afford some nicer socks, or a slightly nicer car that does the same exact thing as a cheaper one. It's honestly kind of dejecting. Oh, and then, friends and family who are struggling you get to feel a weird sense of guilt. Took me about three years of sales experience to start making six figures. I eventually quit and went back to school for my engineering degree. Then spent about a year working junior roles until I finally started making six figures, which in total took about five years. Both paths were extremely difficult in their own way.
Any time you are making six figures there are big stakes involved which also means big swings. Software I don't make near as much as other programmers claim but I'm just over the six figure mark. Took about three years of working FT changing jobs twice. The hiring has been slow the last couple years and I have no desire to change jobs for a pay increase as a great chance that it'll be much more stressful than my current role. Even with my salary and saving 50 my income, I still don't own a house yet. Took me until I was about 35 to hit that mark. Once you hit it, the jumps are much bigger in salary IMO. Work hard and look to climb every couple of years. If you stay with a single company, it will take you much longer to hit because raises are way lower versus changing companies and asking for a larger salary. You're talking a couple grand here and there two tens of thousands when starting elsewhere. I purposefully change jobs in my company every 18, 20 months since 2012. I started at 35,000 United States dollars and hit over 100,000 United States dollars around 2018, 2018. This is from starting as a CS rep essentially, and then making my way through various HQ departments. This got me there relatively quickly, but I'm as high up from mood out I can be without being considered an executive now. I'm not sure that's something I want to do.